Hello, I'm Cleopatra Wallace and this video is all about Hutch the Jeweler. I hope I said that right, Jeweler. Alright, so Hutch Notoriety came way long before this video ever was even thought of being made. He is quite the famous jewelry store owner, or I guess you can call him a jeweler. And he lived in Oak Park, Michigan. And I'm speaking of him in the past tense because he was murdered, gunned down yesterday. So even though they have the guy in custody, what do you say we peep around in energy just to see what was going on? So spirit guides, holy angels, and ancestors gather around. Tonight was well, only, it's afternoon right now. It's only 4, it's only 4.28. So... This afternoon, we're going to 23400 Greenfield Road. That's the street address. But the zip code we want to go to is 48237. Oh, that is zip code 48237. And that is in Oak Park, Michigan. And on that... In that zip code on that street, you will find a jewelry store at the address of 23400 Greenfield Road. It's a jewelry store. And a pawn shop as well. And when you get there, we're looking for someone by the name of Dan Hutchinson. He's an older, mature man, but he's not like geriatric or anything. I don't have his age here, but if I had to guess, I would say he looked like he was in his 50s, something like that. But Dan Hutchison was gunned down outside of his business yesterday, and his wife was waiting in the SUV. So I just want to poke around, poke around in his energy and see what was going on. Was this a robbery gone wrong? And if it was a robbery, why did it happen outside the store and not inside the store? And, you know, the police are being very tight-lipped on everything right now. But it is good to note that they do have the guy in custody. All right, so we're going to get one from this Omega Land deck. I'm going to switch over to this Edgar Allan Poe deck. Now, I like to get at least four to start with, and we only have one. So we have to get three more. But a lot of people was really fond of Dan. You know, they love going to the jewelry store. If you were an up-and-coming person in Detroit, you know, you popped on over to Oak Park and, you know, got you some jewelry and, you know, everybody knows, you know, the brand and the name. So it was quite something special, his work. And considering that he was gunned down outside of one of his establishments yesterday, it's so bold. So I just want to see what happened there. Why was Dan Hutchinson gunned down outside of his business at 234? 00 Greenfield Road in the zip code of 48237. Today's date is June the 1st of 2022. We are between the hours of 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Ooh, they are being very tight lipped. We only get one card. All right, I'm gonna try one more time to get another card. If not, we're just gonna start clarifying because it could, you know, they could be being tight lipped because it's. That's not what we're all thinking it is. Now, right now, I'm not thinking it's anything. But I'm sure there are conspiracies going around. So, Spirit, we want to know the energy surrounding Dan Hutchinson's murder on... Do that again. Dan Hutchinson's murder that happened on June the 1st of 2022. We're between the hours of 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. We're at the address of 23400 Greenfield Road in Oak Park, Michigan. Looking for the energy surrounding Dan Hutchinson's murder. I said he's a pretty. Oh, we got two. Yay. All right, we're getting closer. Like I said, his wife was waiting in the SUV when this whole thing happened. Luckily, she was un. All right, there we go. We have our four. Luckily, she was unharmed. Okay. So this looks like it's going to be good. Now, if the cards fall to the floor, I only um take the ones that fall face down. And if too many comes out, I will take the top and the bottom.
All right, now the first card that came out was the Knight of Cups. And this was the card that came out right away. And then nothing else came out for a while. So this is, um, this card kind of has an emphasis, uh, emphasis on it. Emphasis. You know what I'm trying to say. And it is important to note that the Knight of Cups is, even though he's like the Knight of Cups that deals with emotions, um, you know, the King of Heart and the Knight of Cups, they can be violent people. And also it's important to note that if this was, like I think, related to money in some type of way, we'd be looking at the King of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles right now because those are like the money men. The Knight of Cups is, um, this is something emotional. But like I said, they have him in custody, so I'm sure the story will come out, but we're just being nosy. We're just poking around. Mm -hmm. Just having a look around. I'm going to come back and clarify that, but let's see what else is out here. All right, now this is the Nine of Cups. More, more again with these emotions and these feelings. I don't know why they're referencing to um, this clown's boots right here. Maybe they were like, they have his footprints or something. But they have him, so they don't need his footprints. This is something to do with these boots. All right, what else is here? Now, this is a card dealing with money. It's the Nine of Pentacles, and it also has a female on it. Yeah. This female kind of has the energy of, um, of the wife a little bit. I think we might be looking at the wife here. The one that was waiting in the SUV. All right. Well, I, we're not surprised to see her here. You know, it is a crime scene and she was there. So she's here because of that. But we're going to clarify it, of course. And up next, we have the fool. And he has his trusty dog by his side, helping guide the way. Now, this dog is important to note because this is telling me that even though it was one guy driving... It was more than one guy planning this. These two are kind of best buds. But this fool here that's taking um, the leap here, this has, um, this is being, this is a good reading because this has the energy of the guy who actually did it. He was, um, he was talked into it. He was quite stupid. He thought about riding on off that cliff. But it's like if you're convinced that it's something in this bag that can save you from falling, then you don't mind falling because you think you're going to be safe because you got this bag. But, yeah, he did it and he got caught. So let's go back and clarify. Who was it that was having all of these strong emotions? Because I don't feel like this guy with the upset emotions and the fool... Those are two different people. So let's start with him, Mr. I'm Upset. All right. So to see what the Knight of Cups is so upset about, we're going to use the spider deck. And we're going to attempt to use the spider deck. All right, Spirit, we are still in Oak Park, Michigan, between the hours of 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. It's June the 1st of 2022. We're at the address of 23400 Greenfield Road. Now, we out there, and, and Dan Hutchinson has gotten himself, you know, gunned down. And there's another man here that has a lot of upset feelings. This Knight of Cups. What can you tell me about this man? And what part does he play? And what happened to Dan Yesterday, on June the 1st of 2022. 
We're between the hours of 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. Oh, there it is. No, we're between the hours of 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Ah, poor choices. So whoever this angry man is, he has made a lot of poor choices. This being one, it would appear that Dan was a pillar of the community. Meanwhile, you're over here making poor choices. Let's try to get another identity on him. And to do that, we're going to go into the, into the movie tarot. Because it has all people... Faces. This is the movie tarot. This is the um, major arcana in the arcana in the court cards. All right. So, spirit, you're showing me that this guy who um, had the upset, hard feelings towards Stan has made a lot of poor choices in his life. Can you give me a little bit more about him? A little bit more about his personality. This Knight of Cups. That's upset. And this is concerning Dan Hutchinson, who was gunned down outside 23400 Greenfield Road in Oak Park, Michigan, yesterday. All right. Wow. So this is what came out. This is, um, remember his character in Pulp Fiction? To where he was, um, I think his character was named Jules. Of course, it's played by Samuel L. Jackson, but he was the one saying that, you know, he was trying to be the righteous man, but, you know, maybe he wasn't the righteous man. He was the other man, and, you know, he's working it out. But at the end of the day, this man was a killer, okay? So, this person here, even though they um, didn't pull the trigger themselves, I mean, who's to know? The Knight of Cups could really be the fool, too. But I don't feel like it is. I feel like the Knight of Cups talked the fool into it. But the real intent behind it is from this, this Jules character, this murderer. All right. So now we know we're dealing with a, um, a killer and a person who is clever. But I don't know if they were really clever. They wouldn't have hired a fool to do the job. Now let's go over here and clarify him. See if we can't get these two characters boxed in some type of way. All right. And to do that, I'm gonna um I'm gonna use the tarot in Wonderland deck. Now I try not to make this video too long because it takes forever to upload when it's too long. All right, so Spirit, we are still trying to figure out what happened to Dan Hutchinson yesterday on June the 1st, 2022, outside his jewelry store at 23400 Greenfield Road in Oak Park, Michigan. You had showed me as a very upset man that was a killer, and, you know, he making bad choices, but this fool over here who actually went out and did it. What can you tell me about him? All right. What came out about the fool is... He was working for, you know, he was a part of a team, part of a conglomerate. It wasn't just him. He's part of this team here. And we all know who's leading the team. This real killer. With his hurt feelings. All right. So the fool is part of the team. More than likely, what was this? The, um, this isn't the Wizard of Oz with the Tin Man and stuff. This is um, a chess piece. From the Alice in Wonderland story. But they were, um, the main characters are in the back back here. Like, here's Alice and here's the Mad Hatter. But this guy right here in his armor, he, he's, he's nobody. But you see, he's put up front. All right. In the interest of keeping this video short, I'm only going to clarify this one more. This is the wife. Like I said, she was there because, you know, she was there. She's picking her husband up after work. So let's just dig around in her energy a little bit just to see what's there.
going to do that. I'm going to go back to the Omega Land deck. I wonder what will happen with the jewelry stores now. I suppose they will go on. All right, Spirit, we know that the wife was there yesterday at 23400 Green Road in, our, in Oak Park, Michigan. Zip code 48237. It's June the 1st of 2022. We're between the hours of 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Dan Hutchinson has been gunned down. The man was caught. His wife was there in the car. Oh, all right. Let's see what these say. All right, we got three cards. When I say the wife was in the car. So we have a death card. And you know, it's a woman there. Being sad. As of course you would, you know. All right. So we have the eight of coins though. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really like this situation here. Because the eight of coins is like, you know, ingenuity. I can't tell if he's getting this can out or putting this can in. But we do know now the can gets to be opened. And this can being able to be opened is the direct result of Dan being murdered. All right, we're going to leave it there. I am Cleopatra Wallace. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because who knows what's going to happen next.